you know all the noise coming out of the Indiana State House today. Hoosiers aren't buying it, and they didn't make it. The AFL-CIO projected there would be 25,000 members to send on the State House today. And now we learn less than half of that showed up, and the ones that did came from places like Illinois and Michigan and Missouri and Ohio. Don't get me wrong, we appreciate the tourism, and we hope they come back. We'll leave the lights on for them. I'm sure they'll have had a great overnight stay in our hotels and enjoyed our fine restaurants. I think Representative Crawford summed it up best when he told union membership earlier today, quote, you told us not to come home, end quote. And that's exactly what's happened. Let's be clear. These AWOL Indiana House Democrats didn't flee the state to support the middle class. If they had, they never would have supported spending billions of dollars we didn't have last time they were in charge. Pat Bauer's small caucus fled the state because the people that fund their campaigns told them to. Even though the private sector union membership only amounts to about 8% statewide here, they're trying to dictate a list of demands to the rest of us. And unfortunately, this will be their legacy. Indiana Democrats got paid by us, the taxpayers, and then walked off the job. What's that say to Hoosier children? When you don't get your way, just quit? That's not Hoosier. But the Republican legacy will be, we'll continue to lead the charge to balance budgets, to live within our means, to make sure government is always operating at its most efficient levels. We'll continue to fight to improve education, provide more opportunities, give parents more options, and we'll make sure that Indiana continues to lead on the job creation front. Hopefully, Indiana Democrats will come back home again in Indiana and rejoin us on the work that needs to be done.